show you what we got. What did you get, Matt? Got the spicy chicken nuggets and the pork with spicy mayo wrapped in rice. Mm -hmm. Yummy. And then I got, what are these? They're like little dumplings. And then um, I guess these, I'm assuming they're dried edamame. And then got some real edamame. And then a chicken and veggie like rice thing. So we'll see if it's good. Do you like your nugget? Yep, pretty good. All right, good. All right, I'm trying my dumpling. Mmm, so good. Mm -hmm. It's like a fried gyoza. Is that what they're called? Yeah. I think so. Pretty good. We're gonna go figure out if we have to pay or where to go but yeah it's really pretty up here and it's like right next to a mountain so it's really cool it's a little stream mm -hmm. oh my god that beautiful boy. I love these little red bridges. They're so cute. by that bell right here, but I think it's closed off. That's the bathroom. Pretty cute bathroom if I do say so myself. Guys, look at it. It's Tory Gate inside of a Tory Gate inside of a Tory Gate. Let's go have some fun. but with like 90% humidity it feels a lot hotter. Look at frog. Frog? Oh yeah. He bud. Oh my god. Let's see if you can see them but there's all these tadpoles turning into frogs. 
This is so cool. So I think this is a combined like Buddhist and Shinto shrine or like temples because the red Tori gates mean that it's Shinto. But then if there's not a red Tori gate, it's a Buddhist temple and we've seen some Buddhas. So it's really interesting. I don't know like why they would combine them um, or I've never seen that before. So also something interesting that I feel like a lot of people don't know about. Oh, you can't really see it, but right there is a swastika. And if you didn't know, swastikas were taken from, um, I think it was Buddhism. It actually means like peace. And the Nazis actually like stole that design from them and made it into this like symbol of hate. So, it. yeah. So when I was in India, um, traveling, there were so many swastikas everywhere. And that was like one of the first things I've learned was like, no, it's actually a symbol of peace. The Nazis just took it and changed it, which is really sad because when anyone ever sees one and they don't know about that, it just sort of like ruins the meaning of it. Or they're like, why the heck is there a swastika? Because it's just like, oh, that's the Nazis. But nope, it's not. Nice statue. Another one. And people leave like offerings at the base of the statues. Alright, well that was fun. Definitely a cool experience, wouldn't you say? Yep, it's pretty good. It was so hot though, like I'm dying. We we'll definitely come back in the fall though because all the leaves will change colors and it'll look really cool on this like mountainside. So yeah, we'll definitely come back. So right next to the temples was like a like a whole bunch of little farms with um, like trees and stuff. And it was like blue, I think at certain times of the year you can do blueberry picking or cherry picking. And we went to see if there was like um, any more blueberry picking because some people I know like went last week and the week before, but we went over there and like none of the little like stands were open. So maybe blueberry picking is done for the season, but we'll definitely come back and see if we can go cherry picking or blueberry picking like next year. sausage and avocado plate with uh, fluffy pancakes and the fluffy pancakes are all right they're pretty eggy because there's a lot of egg whites mixing mm -hmm. them to make them that fluffy and then i got the pancakes with whipped cream and fruit and it was pretty good but man those like those pancakes just taste like eggs like that's all they taste like so without any syrup or like fruit and stuff on it, it just tastes like eggs. So I probably wouldn't get it again just cause I like couldn't really handle the egg taste. But it was a really cool atmosphere. But it was also super busy and we waited like an hour for our food and then Matt got his food like 
what 15 20 minutes before I got mine and so it was like super awkward because he was just like eating his food and like I wanted I tried to wait I tried to wait yeah no I made him eat it because like it's gonna be cold by the time my food gets there and like I don't really care but it was just like I don't know it was very strange like it took forever but I think we would still go back though yeah like it's a very cute like date place or like girls date place so yeah definitely go back got some popsicles what's yours kiwi pineapple mine is what's called rare cheese lemonade i'll show you the packaging this is matt's it's like kiwi pineapple and this was mine it literally says rare cheese lemonade but it's good it doesn't taste like cheese that's good but i think there's like some lemon maybe it is cheese in this i don't know there's like some lemon flecks or some chewy something inside, so, mm. uh -oh. Let's go to all. Cute little pond. Wow. So many plants. Lily pads. Are they? Yeah, they're real lily pads. I guess. We made it to Misawa Park, which is like just a really, really big park in Misawa. So thought we'd come check it out. And there's a Buddhist temple like up on the hill. So, so far it looks pretty cool. There's a whole bunch of little streams and little ponds. Cute little picnic area. So I don't know if we've talked about this before, but Japan doesn't have any public garbage cans like anywhere, even though it's still considered like one of the cleanest countries in the world. And it's because in maybe the early 2000s or 90s, I don't remember, there was a really big Japanese cult leader who ended up putting bombs in train like garbage bombs. cans and they were gas bombs and so japan completely like freaked out after that because it killed like a lot of people and so they got rid of all their public trash cans and so now if you have any trash you have to like take it with you or like put it in your car but still like everyone here is so considerate that they don't litter like if that ever happened in the u.s We'd have garbage everywhere because no one cares. Everyone's just like selfish. But here, like they care so much about their environment and just like other people that they are willing to just like carry their garbage with them for miles or like throw it away when they get home. So that's another that's really- what I'm doing right now. Right, <laughs> Matt's got a Red Bull and we gotta carry it the entire way. I think it's really cool. I definitely think they need to bring back garbage cans, but um, it's very cute how they really care about their society. This temple, the statue is so cool. Love this big Buddha, so cute. Just went to the Buddhist temple and yeah, there's not much to see there. It's basically that building and then a few statues and then a huge cemetery. That's probably like the biggest cemetery I had seen um, in Japan so far. And there's a lot of people there um, visiting their family and stuff. So, yep. And now we're on our way back to base. That concludes our weekend adventure. And it was a pretty good birthday weekend. But um, yeah, we'll see you guys in our next video.